today's video, let me show you everything you need to know about bump ups as fast as possible. I'm going to go ahead and show you every single feature that is on this platform, different use cases of this platform, and everything we would want to know about bump ups. Let's become a bumper. Let's bump it. First things first is pricing and plans. Like how do we even get an account with bump ups and how do they charge us? So right off the bat, the free plan, you get a free 60 minutes and you can do everything you'd want to do the platform to see if you like it. Now we got two different types of plans here. We got a bump plan and a base plan. As of right now, creation of this video, the base plan allows you to process any type of YouTube video, which leads me to the bump plan, which allows us to process any type of local video, e.g. videos found on your computer or phone. Now I know in the future, there's gonna be even more stuff we can do with the base and bump plan, but for now, that's what we have. Now that we've logged in, let's see different features we can do within the platform. First major thing that may be relevant to you is changing the language of the outputs from this platform. To do so, we can come up here and go to our settings. In our settings to change our language, we simply select this and change it to whatever we want. Hit save, and we're good to go. And yes, that's a Six Flags helmet. Other parts of our settings include upload feature, creator feature, and timestamps. We'll come back to these as we keep exploring the platform. Therefore, let's check out the first very cool thing about bump ups, which is gonna be start chatting here. So simply click start chatting and we're going to be able to create workspaces. What a workspace is, is that we'll be able to put in any video and basically chat with it for any context of anything we would ever want. Basically create a new workspace. Let's go ahead and just give it a title. We'll say example video saving workspace. Once we save our workspace here, we have a bunch of different options of what we can do here. As of now, workspaces is an exclusive feature for YouTube videos, but we'll be able to expand this to local videos in the future. So to get started here, just simply provide your YouTube video. What you'll notice is that when you process videos on this platform, it will tell you what plan it's associated with. So for example, this is a base plan, base credits, bump credits, and we know this just because when you process YouTube videos on this platform, that's associated with your base credits. We got our nice little podcast here, Theo Vaughn, Post Malone. Let's go to an upload. Once we upload a video on bump ups, we're able to do bump shortcuts and work in the prompt workspaces here. You will know your video is ready to go when you see active. All right, perfect. After we upload a video, everything past this doesn't cost you any credits. So for me to enable all these shortcuts, no additional fees, no additional cost. Let's generate shortcuts, which we get our timestamps of the video, takeaways, tags, descriptions. While that's generating, we can mess around here in the prompt workspace. Now this is cool, y'all, and I've done a video on this as well, but the way I want you to think about this is that the ceiling is just not there. Anything you can think of, ask for it there, see if you get it. Just as an example for this video, I'm gonna say, give me the top three funny moments in this podcast in a table of how many times a word is said. You're able to put anything you want in here. What is super cool is that once you upload one video on your workspaces, you have the ability to talk to it with prompt one, prompt two, prompt three, and these are extremely long outputs, y'all. Once we're happy with a prompt here, hit enter. If you want more resources on prompt guidance and how to prompt with bump ups, just check out this little article right here, hit learn more, and it dives into best practices when prompting with bump ups. Looks like our shortcuts have finished here. So we got our timestamps, descriptions, takeaways, titles, and hashtags. Super cool. And it also looks like our prompt finished here. And from my prompt, we got exactly what I asked for, such as the top three funny moments from that podcast. And just to show you how crazy these outputs can get and really just do anything you'd want it to do, we see that in this entire video, the word the was said 150 times. That covers the workspace feature. And I am aware that in the future, we'll be able to also upload local videos there as well and possibly expand past that. For now though, let's check out Bump Up's YouTube Studio and how we can leverage this platform if you're a content creator. First major feature here is channel. Coming over to channel here, what we're able to do is we're able to connect our YouTube channel. This allows us to grab all of our catalog and start processing videos at a faster rate. So two major things you wanna know about this page right here. First major thing, this will only cost you base credits as well. These are not bump credits, this is purely base. And all you have to do once you have your catalog here is you can just click through. So for example, if I wanna process these two videos, all I have to do is simply click, click, we're good to go. Once your video is done, you'll get confirmed with this nice little green bump. Simply clicking the video, Bump Ups has gone ahead and just optimized what is typically wanted for content creators. So we get our timestamps, we get our titles, we get our description, the takeaways, and finally tags that can be associated with that video. Now, obviously for all of these, what we can do is copy it and paste it whenever we wanna use it. Now, one thing you'll notice about the timestamp section here is we have a little settings icon for branding. What this allows us to do and what is super cool about bump ups is that we can automatically comment the timestamps for the video we just processed. Simply enabling this slider here, I can go ahead and edit how the comment's gonna show up in all my videos. So scrolling down here, I can see that when I will comment on my video that I just processed, I can change the introduction text here. I say key moments here and then come down there we go. Once you're satisfied of how your comment will look, simply hit save branding and you'll be good to go. So coming back to my channels page here, you'll see that auto comment is enabled. If you want to disable it, just simply click this. But once it's enabled, if I go to any of these videos and I process them, it will automatically comment the timestamps. For example, with that setting on, if I simply click this, we'll get all those value points you just saw and comment it. And there's our comment. 
Now, if you don't have a YouTube account, you can still leverage the YouTube studio section. Coming over to the links page. What the links page allows us to do is process any video found on YouTube. So for example, for this video right here, we'll get the credit cost. In addition, it will also reference that other setting you saw earlier about timestamps length, whether short or long. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and make our timestamp short. You can also make that change in your settings found right here, short or standard. To best understand that real quick, basically, if you do short timestamps, we're looking at very brief timestamps of what happens at that part of the video. And if you choose standard timestamps, each timestamp will have a longer description. This is a user by user preference, so choose what you like. Once we're ready to process the video, all we need to do is simply hit process video. When the video is done processing, we can simply hit view bump and bump us provides us information that is relevant for content creators, such as timestamps, titles, descriptions, all the relevant data points that we saw earlier. Once you process a video, it will always be here for you to reference in the future. On top of that, if you want to remove it from process video section, simply come up here to archive and we can keep going here. The last section found in YouTube studio is our ability to actually upload videos to YouTube using bump ups. This is super cool. So what this allows us to do is that you upload your video and then you'll have everything relevant to that video completely done for you. The title, the description, the tags, the hashtags, timestamps, everything. So let's go on and do it. This will cost you bump minutes because it's local. Select your video you want to upload. So I have a video here showcasing ChatGPT in advanced voice mode. What we can do here is simply wait for it to be done processing. What you'll notice is that we'll get a nice little notification of when it's done. In addition, like any platform when uploading a video, make sure you leave this page open so we can have the video fully uploaded. Also, what's cool is that while it's uploading, you can confirm that it's the right video. You can even watch it. So for example, have y'all had the ability to use this new advanced mode? It's kind of crazy, right? Sure thing. There we go. While it's uploading as well, we can actually upload our thumbnail. I'm gonna do that. There we go. Once the upload is complete, we simply hit bump. So we got a ton of cool stuff going on here. First thing, we can obviously set a new title, but I'm gonna let bump AI give me the titles. So I'm gonna let it keep analyzing. Look at this, the description y'all, this is cool. So we can actually have it where we have our default description. Like when you upload content, stuff that just always shows up, such as your links, other social media links, et cetera. But what you'll notice is that there's little variables such as video description key takeaways, video timestamps. What Bump Ups does is that we'll automatically do that for you. So let's go ahead and let this finish analyzing here and you can see what I mean. So the first cool thing is that we'll be able to get all the relevant information for that video found here. And then coming over here, we can actually preview how this would show up in our YouTube video, simply hitting preview. There we go. We have our description, we have the takeaways, and then finally we have the timestamps all automatically put in. And we can go as far as adding the hashtags as well if we chose to do so at the bottom. But the way you do that is simply is by inputting the description here is just curly bracket, curly bracket, video description, curly bracket, curly bracket, you're gonna go. Now what I typically do with my videos is I will typically just go to the settings here and look at this. I can set up my default settings here so I never have to type anything again. So we already have a stock template here of video description. And if you wanna add it, all you have to do is simply delete this, hit description, added it. Where do you want the timestamps to show up? Oh, I want them to show up here, add it and keep going that way. Therefore, if you also wanna add the tags, we can go ahead and copy this, paste it over here. There we go. We can obviously add a new thumbnail if we choose to do so. So grabbing one of the Bump AI titles, I can simply put it there, hit save. And then check out over here, y'all. Pretty cool, right? We can actually post this on YouTube. So we can either save it, simply click that, and save it as private, unlisted, or public. Or alternatively, we can just schedule it. So maybe I don't want the video posted now, we'll post it November 10th, hit schedule. That covers a lot of what the Bump Ups platform can do and they are expanding features long-term. Now, let me go ahead and answer some questions real quick that you might be thinking of. First major one is that when it comes to credits and buying credits, don't worry, they don't expire. You will have them for life. We do this on purpose because we don't wanna make you feel tied down or have to process a video in order to get the most value out of your credits. Don't worry, you'll be able to keep them for life. Second major thing about this platform is that it is constantly improving and constantly listening to its users on feedback. For example, the entire workspace and that entire workflow that you just saw was a highly requested feature that was built out. Other than that though, check it out. Description down below, start for free. I'll see you in the next video. Become a bumper, bump up two random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.